If you have a low-end PC and want to play CS2 like a pro, but low FPS are holding you back, then this video is for you. Today we're covering the best settings and tweaks to boost your FPS and fix performance issues, especially if you're gaming on a low-end PC. No more lag, no more frustration, just smooth, fast gameplay. Make sure to like, subscribe, and let's jump right into it. What's threatened with the lag and hyping while you play games? So that you need a gear booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Rope there's like Asian Jeff and Paul that I have to use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. All right, guys, in this first step, we're going to fine tune a few important settings in Steam and CS2's game files to boost FPS and eliminate stutters on low end systems. These tweaks are crucial for unlocking smoother performance in CS2. Start by launching Steam, head to your library, and locate Counter Strike 2. Right click on it, choose properties, and then click on installed files followed by browse to open the game directory. Once you're inside the CS2 folder, go into the bin folder, then open the Win64 subfolder. Inside, find the CS2 executable file, right-click on it, and select Properties. Now head to the Compatibility tab. Make sure to enable Disable Full Screen Optimizations. This stops Windows from adding unnecessary overhead while playing. Then click on Change High DPI Settings, tick the checkbox inside, and Confirm. These adjustments reduce input lag and help smooth out gameplay on weaker PCs. Next, we'll optimize Steam itself for low-spec performance. Go to Steam Settings and inside the Friends and Chat tab, disable animated avatars. They constantly use resources in the background. Then switch to the Interface tab and turn off smooth scrolling, GPU accelerated rendering, and hardware video decoding, all of which eat into your CPU and GPU power. Lastly, go to the Library section and make sure the first three performance options are enabled. These simple tweaks can really lighten the load on Steam and improve its responsiveness, which helps CS2 run better overall. After applying everything, be sure to restart Steam so the changes kick in properly. Alright guys, now it's time to grab the CS2 Ultimate FPS Boost Pack directly from my official website. Feel free to scan it with any trusted antivirus tool, it's completely clean and safe to use. Once the download is complete, extract the contents to your desktop and open up the main folder. Inside, you'll see multiple subfolders, each packed with important tweaks to unlock better performance in CS2. Start by opening the Registry Tweaks folder. Inside, you'll find several registry files that need to be installed. Just double-click each one, confirm any prompts, and repeat the process until all of them are applied. These tweaks modify core Windows behavior to free up system resources and make your PC more game-focused. Once you're done with those, go back to the main folder and head into the Counter-Strike 2 Priority folder. Here you'll find registry files that adjust how Windows prioritizes CS2 in terms of CPU usage. If you're running a low-end PC, apply the normal priority tweak. For a mid-range system, go with medium priority. And if you've got a high-end build, use the high priority option. This allows your CPU to handle CS2 based on your hardware's capabilities, boosting FPS and stability. Next up, launch a tool called Run with Affinity. This program is included in the pack and helps manage how CS2 uses your CPU threads. Many gamers miss out on optimal CPU performance, but this tool makes sure you're using every thread effectively. To get started, click Select Program, then hit the three-dot button. Navigate through your Steam folder to Steam Apps, Common, Counter-Strike 2, Game, Bin, Win64, and find CS2.exe. That's the game's main executable. Select it to proceed. Now in the processor section, make sure the tool detects your full thread count. If it doesn't automatically select the max, do it manually. For instance, if your CPU has 8 or 16 threads, choose that number for best performance. Once done, click Create Shortcut and save it wherever you like. You can launch CS2 through this shortcut for maximum performance each time. Moving on, let's use ShutUp10, a lightweight tool that boosts system privacy and disables background services that eat up resources. No installation is needed, just double-click the file to launch it. When it opens, some settings will already be turned on. Those are the developer's safe recommendations. But you're free to adjust things manually. If you've used the tool before, it will recognize your previous tweaks and give you the option to keep or reset them. It's good practice to recheck your settings after major Windows updates, as they can reset everything silently. The app has two main tabs. Current User, which covers things like activity tracking, App Permissions, Cortana, File Explorer Behavior, Windows Copilot, and other user-focused options. Local Machine, which includes broader system settings like telemetry, update management, and overall Windows security. Before you apply any changes, you can export your current configuration as a backup. Perfect if you want to share settings across multiple PCs, or just stay safe. Now choose the level of tweak intensity. Green, fully safe and recommended tweaks. Yellow, recommended, plus some moderate changes. All settings applies everything available in the app. It's highly recommended to create a system restore point before applying tweaks, just in case. 
After applying your preferred set of changes, simply close the program. No restart is required immediately, but it's always a good idea to reboot for full effect. Once these tweaks are complete, your PC will be more responsive, run cooler, and deliver much better FPS in Counter-Strike 2, especially on lower-end hardware. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your Ping C. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now, go to the Not tab, where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now we're going to turn off hardware acceleration in Discord, which is a smart move for players aiming to squeeze out better performance. While this feature is meant to make Discord run more smoothly by using your GPU, it can actually cause frame drops, stutters, or even crashes, especially if you're gaming on a budget system. To disable it, open Discord, click the gear icon in the bottom left to open settings, then scroll down to the advanced section. Here you'll see the hardware acceleration option. It's usually turned on by default, but if you're running Discord in the background while playing CS2, it could slow things down. Simply toggle it off, and when Discord asks, click Restart Now to apply the change. Turning this feature off helps reduce GPU load, giving CS2 more breathing room to run smoothly, especially helpful on low-end PCs where every bit of performance counts. Tuning your PC's power settings is one of the easiest and most effective ways to squeeze extra FPS out of CS2, especially on low-end systems. When your computer is focused on delivering raw performance instead of saving power, it helps eliminate lag and gives you smoother gameplay overall. Start by opening the Windows search bar, type Power, and click on Edit Power Plan. In the Power Plan window, switch your current profile to High Performance or Ultimate Performance if it's available. This tells Windows to prioritize speed over battery or power efficiency, which is ideal for gaming. Next, let's tweak it further for even better CS2 performance. Click on Change Plan Settings, then go to Change Advanced Power Settings. Inside the Advanced menu, expand the PCI Express section and set Link State Power Management to Off. This prevents your GPU from throttling itself during gameplay. Now scroll down to Processor Power Management and expand it. Set both Minimum Processor State and Maximum Processor State to 100%. This forces your CPU to run at its full potential all the time, avoiding dips in clock speed that can cause micro stutters or slowdowns mid-game. After applying all these tweaks, click OK to save everything. These power adjustments ensure your system is always in high performance mode, helping you get the most out of CS2 with higher FPS and smoother responsiveness, even on older or lower-end hardware. Disabling Xbox-related services can be a game-changer for low-end systems, as it helps free up CPU and RAM, giving Counter-Strike 2 more breathing room to run smoothly. Cutting off these background tasks ensures better in-game responsiveness and fewer performance dips. To do this, right-click on your taskbar and select Task Manager. Once it opens, switch over to the Services tab. Now scroll through the list and find services like Xbox Live Auth Manager, Xbox Game Save, Xbox Accessory Management, and Xbox Net Service. If you don't rely on Xbox features, right-click each one and choose Stop. These services quietly eat away at your system resources in the background. Disabling them helps redirect that power towards CS2. Also, if you're not using the Xbox Game Bar to record gameplay or capture clips, it's a smart move to disable it. Open Settings. Gaming. Xbox Game Bar and toggle it off. This alone can improve FPS and lower latency, especially on systems with weaker specs. Once everything is disabled, restart your PC to apply the changes properly. You might notice your system running noticeably smoother, and you can potentially eliminate up to 30 to 40 unnecessary background tasks, giving CS2 the extra push it needs for consistent frames and minimal stuttering during matches. Alright guys, now in this next step, we're going to fine-tune the advanced video settings in CS2 to boost visibility, cut down input lag, and push out the highest FPS possible for smooth, responsive gameplay on low-end systems. When it comes to advanced video settings in CS2, making smart adjustments is key if you're running a low-end PC. These tweaks will help boost your FPS, reduce stutters, and keep the game smooth while still looking decent. 
First, turn on Boost Player Contrast. This improves visibility in-game by making enemies easier to spot, which is especially useful during fast encounters. Then, make sure to disable Vertical Sync. V-Sync causes input delay, and turning it off lets your system process frames faster, giving you a much snappier aiming experience. To lower input lag without putting stress on your GPU, enable NVIDIA Reflex Late, low latency, but set it to just enabled, not plus boost. This keeps your system responsive without adding extra GPU overhead. Now for anti-aliasing, set multi-sampling anti-aliasing mode to none. On low-end hardware, this setting eats up performance, so disabling it gives you a solid FPS boost. Next, tweak your shadow and texture settings to offload GPU usage. Set global shadow quality to very low and completely turn off dynamic shadows. This change alone can significantly improve frame rates. Lowering shadows won't hurt gameplay visibility, but it will definitely help with smoother performance. For model and texture detail, select low. This cuts down memory usage and lightens the load on your GPU. Change the texture filtering mode to bilinear. It'll keep visuals clear enough while offering better performance. Set shadow detail to low or very low to minimize additional rendering tasks. Reduce particle detail to very low to prevent FPS drops during effects like smokes or fire. These effects are heavy on low-end machines, so this step keeps gameplay consistent. Disable ambient occlusion. This feature adds lighting depth but isn't worth the performance cost. By applying these settings, your low-end PC will handle CS2 much more efficiently. You'll notice higher FPS, fewer stutters, and a more competitive edge without sacrificing too much on visuals. Alright guys, that's a wrap for today's guide. If these settings helped boost your FPS, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more epic CS2 tips and optimization tricks.